Hello everyone, today I'm working on a pizza oven that is not cooking the pizzas properly. So the bottom burner is working. So our issue is probably with the top burner. So let's go ahead here and fire up. We do not have a thermostat, we just have a toggle switch. All right, so our hot surface igniter should come on almost immediately. It is not coming on. So that is our first issue. Our module should shortly go into lockout. I believe it's a probably a 60 second lockout on this guy here. So let's go over to our module and you can see we have a two flash and a three flash. So one is flame no call for heat and ignition lockout. We got one flash which doesn't really make any sense. All right, so let's pull up a schematic. Sorry, it's a little bit blurry. Um, service manual does not exist for this. So basically we're gonna pull up the schematic and we're gonna map it out and we're just gonna make our own sequence of operations based on the schematic. Okay, sometimes you gotta work on the fly. Sometimes they don't have a service manual. So it's important to know your schematics and I've been hammering this into everybody's heads. Practice, practice, practice your schematics for moments like this, all right? So first thing we come in, our 120 volts is hot. It goes to our L1. We're gonna map out our neutral. It's a straight shotting to our HSI, hot surface igniter. It's also coming down to our 24 volt transformer. And our hot side is also gonna hit our 24 volts transformer. So why do we need a 24 volts transformer? Well, we have a gas valve that's running off 24 volts and that is the reason why. All right, so our hot side is gonna to come to our thermostat. In our case, we do not have a thermostat. We have that toggle switch that I showed earlier. So this does not have a temperature control. Once that burner's on, it's always on. It's not gonna burn anything. It's actually used to melt the cheese on top of the pizzas. So that's why we don't use a thermostat. So that's gonna make the W terminal hot as soon as we turn that toggle switch to the on position. And then our neutral is gonna come directly to our gas valve. So our gas valve always has our neutral. In this case, it's our 24 volt side, which becomes our ground. And then it's also gonna send 24 volts ground to this module. As soon as we get power on W, this L1 is gonna loop around here. We have a option of 120 volts and 240. We're dealing with 120. And it'll come directly to our hot surface igniter. Okay, our neutral is always there. As we said earlier, now we've completed the circuit, our hot surface igniter will ignite. Now, based on how this module set up, it could be after 10 seconds, 15, 20 seconds, I'm not really sure, it's between 10 and 30 seconds on this unit. This switch right here, that's currently open, will close. We will close the circuit, and then we will send power to our gas valve, and that's gonna send gas to our burner. Now we want to make sure we have ignition at our burner. How do we do that? We use a flame sensor. Okay, if we don't have a flame sensor, if we were to open this gas valve and our HSI is not working, we'll just be dumping gas into the unit. Okay, very dangerous. So we wait for a flame sense. If we have ignition, it'll send the flame sense back to here. And once we get flame sense, we're going to drop power to our hot surface igniter. And now our burner is lit. So there's a visual cue right there. If your burner is on and your hot surface igniter is still glowing, you know you do not have proper flame sense. And the issue is either the flame sensor, the wire, or the module. All right, so now that we broke down the sequence of operations, let's go figure out what the issue is. Like I said earlier, there is no service manual for this. Um, I'm a notorious note taker. And from writing notes from years and years and years, I've written all kinds of service manuals. So let's jump into this one here. So upper burner common issues. Hot surface igniter does not glow. Check power in and out of the switch. Turn the unit off in case the module's locked out. We've ruled that out because we saw the light on the module. So next thing is ohm out the igniter at the module, after the fuses, and at the back of the unit right at the igniter. Open line anywhere would indicate a break in one of the sections, either wire, fuse, or igniter. So let's go get that tested. All right, so let's ohm out our igniter at the fuse, open line. We may have a broken wire. Let's go to the back of the unit. We're at the back of the unit, right at the igniter, still open line. We need a igniter. Let's get that installed. And you can see 52.3 ohms is what we're looking for. 
Uh, we want to make sure we clean off all these panels because this creates the flame to go actually into the hot surface igniter and it will actually burn it out. So it's important to clean these panels and all these uh, hot surface igniter protectors. We also want to check the burner. Make sure there's no sooting. Make sure all the orifices are clean. We got a little bit of sooting there. We'll get that all cleaned up. So this next step is pretty important. It's asking the test for power to the igniter. So what happens on these a lot is the igniter will actually short out and blow the module. The module will send incorrect voltage to the igniter and you may blow the new igniter and vice versa. If you have a bad module and the igniter shorting out and you change that module, you will short the module because the igniter is bad. So we always want to test them individually before we fire up the unit. And how we're going to do that is really easy. We're going to disconnect our wire from S1 and we're going to test from S1 to our neutral and we should get 120 volts. Test our module, we're only getting seven volts. The light's flashing like crazy. We were getting funny flash sequences earlier. All right, so let's quickly map out our sequence, what's going on. So we have our 120 in here, our 120 into our transformer. Our neutral is gonna straight shot to our HSI, as well as to our 24 volt transformer. And as soon as we close this toggle switch, we get power on W, our neutral or ground, 24 volt ground will straight shot to the module. As soon as we get power on W, we are supposed to get power on S1. If this is not happening, we have a bad module. All right, so put a new module in. Let's fire up. And we should get our glow igniter. Perfect. All right, so we're igniting. And then we said within 10 seconds, we should have our gas valve getting powered up and we should be seeing a flame. We are not seeing a flame. Just be patient here and we definitely have a second issue uh, the gas valve is not sending gas to the burner so let's go figure out what's going on there all right so we are getting power to our hot surface igniter because we could see it glowing orange once that happens and after a 10 second delay this switch right here should be closing and we should be getting power to the gas valve so let's go confirm whether or not we have 24 volts at this gas valve right here. All right, let's go test this gas valve. We are getting 24 volts. Unbelievable. The gas valve is bad as well. All right, so we tested voltage at the gas valve and we were getting 24 volts. So that means this switch here is closing. So that means we have a bad gas valve as well. Unbelievable. This work order is going to read like I am a park changer. Okay, we tested everything along the way. We started with our HSI open line. That shorted out, shorted our module, and then it came back and shorted this gas valve somehow. Okay, we should be checking gas pressure, but because the bottom burner is running, the flame height's good, I know there's gas to this valve. It may not be the correct amount, but I know there's gas coming to this valve because they share a common gas source. So let's go get the gas valve replaced and go from there. All right, so we have a new gas valve installed. We did confirm correct gas pressure. Our glow igniter is on. Okay, you can tell by the visual cue, the bright orange light. Okay, now we're gonna wait our 10, 15 seconds for our gas valve to receive that 24 volts and to open up the valve and to send gas to the burner and there we go, nice clean ignition. And watch our glow coil, the orange is going away. What is that telling us? We have flame sense. All right, so we are all good here. We can start making our P 